Team Hard Life, Captain Albert Sertucci here. All right, so today I need to explain a little more on the sail line. Because now that we've got them out there, we've been getting asked some questions. And a buddy of mine, Ricky, suggested I should do a video on the rules and regulations for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go through the rules and regulations. Because there are a few things that I didn't realize about it. So now let's go ahead and sit down and check this out. Here's an important part, tagging requirements. This is the tags that you have to purchase from Texas Parks and Wildlife for each 300 feet that you want to send out of that cell line, you have to have a tag. So at the max of them, on the max, you can get six tags. So that's where this part comes in, that 1,800 feet, that's six times 300 is 1,800. So those are your six tags right there. Now, one of the good things about running a sail line is if you're fishing with your buddies and each one of them have a fishing license and are helping you bait the, the sail line, tender the sail line, anything having to do with helping you work that sail line, they too can also catch their limits off of your sail line. It's basically like passing around a fishing rod. They're casting it, they're baiting it, or doing whatever while you're doing something else and they catch a fish, they, it's their possession. So they can actually, this is the one time that you can actually use one device to have other people catch off of it. The day that we took our cell line out, we had the tags there and we had two other fishermen with us. If we had started slamming the fish since all three of us were baiting the hooks and checking the line and stuff like that, we could have taken our three limits of fish for that day. So that's just a little side note that wasn't placed in there, but that is what is available. Now that doesn't mean that you can sit there and catch fish and pass them off to the next camp just because they ain't catching anything. If you do that, it's still considered part of your daily bag limit. So and if you gave away your five fish, then that's all you can keep. You, cannot, you can catch all day long, but you would have to release them. So that's just a little food for thought, guys. If you want to be able to go out and catch a lot of fish, make sure that you have people helping you that have fishing licenses. All right, guys, y'all have a good one.